Firstborn is India, my son is Israel, and my daughter's name is Ireland. India is very sassy and bossy, and seeing she just lost her two front teeth. Israel, I call him Izzy, he is a busybody, and he is a very, he's a baby, like he's very baby. And she's a very loving child, like he loves everybody. He's very friendly, but he's bad. And Ireland, she's just a baby. Mm, my baby. Back up, my baby's trying to go to sleep. I had my struggles with all of my pregnancy. I can honestly say I went through a lot. Every every one of my pregnancies, I have fainted. With Ireland, I was more so stressed out because I was not, I was high risk. I wasn't working. I tried to work, and my first day of work, I fainted in the bathroom. Got too hot, dizzy, whatever. And I talked to my doctor about it, and she felt like it was best for me to take a break. So my sister stepped in and helped me pay my bills and stuff, but. I was always in the house and I was depressed and I was stressed out because I broke my hip and I had a lot going on. I was big and pregnant, I was miserable. I'm 4'10", 110 pounds, with a broke hip carrying six pound baby. That was the hardest time of my life. Having to drop to Lufkin every week made it even more stressful because my car set up for so long and it broke down on me. So I had to get a ride from other people. And at that time I was going to the hospital every week. So I had to get a ride to the hospital for five weeks. It's a lot. It's not just, you know, a, hot, a skip in the park because I can ask somebody to take me to Jasper really easily. But asking somebody to take me to Lufkin is a different story. I don't know how far along I was, I can't remember, but I was pregnant with my last child and I um, started spotting and I called Jasper to see if they could, you know, offer me some assistance or guidance or could I come see them just to check on my baby, get an ultrasound or not even an ultrasound, just a heartbeat because they have little heartbeat monitors where you can hear the heartbeat and make sure your baby's okay. And they simply told me that, you know, they don't do labor and delivery so there would be no point in me coming to the hospital because they would not be able to service me or do anything for me and my baby. Definitely having something closer. It wouldn't be such a, a stressor. You know, like I'm gonna go right up the road, me and my baby gonna be okay. Like people that live in Lufkin, they know they're gonna have their kids in Lufkin. You know what I'm saying? If you have a car, because when I had a car, it wasn't it wasn't too much of a big deal. All I had to make sure I had was gas money to make it to Lufkin. But if you don't have a car, you have to have a ride and you have to have somebody that's willing to wait on you. On a good visit, I would get in and out within 30, 45 minutes. Uh, well, actually, when I did my glucose test, I think I was in there like three hours. So that was a five and a half hour journey. <laughs> if you have a day where you're getting an ultrasound, like you have to have somebody that's gonna watch your kids in the lobby while you go back there to have an ultrasound because kids aren't allowed in the ultrasound room. So, I mean, sometimes even if you got a ride, you gotta have somebody that'll watch your kids while you're back there. I know a lot of people that can't get to where they need to go. I know a lot of people that have to pay people $30 to take them up the road. I think I, they, you know, that's not my situation. Because I have people that take care of me and love me and my kids. Um, my aunt, she was there for me and my grandfather as well. And he passed away three days after I gave birth to my daughter. So he was the most support I had when it came to my kids and my doctor's appointments. Now it's just like, I don't really go, like, I don't really go too much anywhere because he was really my, you know, go-to person. Like, and we, all we did was argue, like, whew. And I would do anything to have one more argument with him about him taking me to the store even though he just left 20 minutes ago. If it's the end of the month and I don't have very many groceries, like, 
I know I'm gonna have to make it stretch. I know I'm gonna have to make it work, period, because I don't have a ride until this date. So time, it's gonna be a time period before you make it back into town to buy groceries or buy, you know, go to the mall or have a baby, like, or go to the doctor's office. message after the tone. Press pause for further options. Hi, this is Destiny Williams. I was calling to reschedule my appointment that I missed this morning. This morning I had a week appointment in Jasper and we weren't able to make it because my friend that was going to take me, she's currently pregnant right now. She ended up having to go to her son's basketball game all night and she didn't get home until like 11 o'clock at night. I'd like to reschedule it. Okay. It's more than just her milk. We get eggs, cheese, bread, and fruits and vegetables. And the fruits and vegetables really come in handy. Can you come in tomorrow? Uh, or Wednesday? Wednesday would be better for me. I have the opportunity right now to move to Orange, which is about an hour and a half away. It's closer to Boma, it's closer to big cities. and. I could move there, but then who would I have to watch my kids? Who would I have to take me here or take me there when I need to? And I don't have that in Orange. I want to move to Orange because I want to go to school and I want to be able to do this and I want to be able to do that and I can go, you know, to Boma anytime I need to. I'm on the fence about it because I really do want to move kind of, but it's like, you know, at the end of the day, I got to think about what's best for my kids, not just myself. Because you have to think about their best interests at all times. I do. Ready.